Hi there, I'm Rach from Square Stylist. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to easily add vertical lines to our Squarespace fluid sections. What's great is we can easily change the color of our vertical line without having to touch the code and we may combine our vertical lines with our horizontal lines to create grid layouts like this. Our first step is to add a blank section and when editing fluid sections, it's best for us to turn on the grid by hitting G on our keyboard. Then to add the vertical line, we'll use our shape block. So I'll click this add block button and start typing shape. I'll bring the shape right at the middle. We may adjust the height accordingly, but make sure it spans two columns. We double click the block to bring up the shape settings. And right here, I'm going to use a shape which is rarely used. In this case, it's keystone. Then I'm going to add the code that targets this specific shape without affecting the other shape blocks within the site. Simply paste the provided code to the end of your custom CSS panel please ensure that we add it after any existing code. So upon pasting, notice that our keystone shape turned into a vertical line. And notice that happened because I am simply targeting the keystone element. And what's great is we can change the color of this line simply by toggling on this stroke option and changing this to any color of our choice. Now we may proceed with adding the other elements, for example, our image. I'll just make sure that I'll assign the correct number of columns to this image. You may use any of these design options. For this use case, I'd love to use the fill one. Then we add the text to the other side. Now, if you wish to add a horizontal line in between these two sections, we may actually use our section divider. If you click edit section and toggle on this divider, we'll find that we have the option to set it to this straight option and again, change the color and thickness accordingly. You might be curious how this translates on mobile. So when we click this mobile view option, we'll find that this shape or vertical line turns into a horizontal line on mobile. So we can place it anywhere within the mobile grid and change its size accordingly. I like making sure that it occupies two rows and notice that it stacks perfectly on mobile view. Now to create this grid layout, we don't need to add any more code. All we need to do is position our vertical line and our horizontal line anywhere within the grid. Let's demonstrate this by adding a new blank section. And in the blank section, this grid layout is best done when the fill screen option is toggled off or if its value is really small, for example, five or six. And right here, we can extend the height of this section. We can again add our vertical line, we can actually just copy it from our previous section. So I'll hit Command C on my keyboard. And while this new section is selected, I'll hit Command V. Now notice how I'm able to add this vertical line easily to this new section. Then we can add any image. I'll again just copy and paste the image from our first section. Now I can just again, copy this paste this again by hitting command V and position this anywhere within our grid. And to add the horizontal lines, all we need to do is add a line block. And again, make sure that it spans two rows. I can also extend it to flush to the edge of our section. I can also do that to our image. Now that we have this horizontal line block here, I can copy it and paste this to our section and now add it at the top of this second image and again, extend it to the right edge of our section. We may then easily add texts and other elements within the grid. Of course, we may toggle on our section divider to add our horizontal divider between sections. Here is an example layout using that technique. I've used a bit more code to make the image 
effect show up upon Hover, and I'll tackle that in an upcoming video in this YouTube channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like our video. Please note that on mobile, these vertical line borders will automatically turn into horizontal line blocks. So in the new Squarespace Fluid Engine, we have a lot of flexibility in terms of placing any elements on mobile without affecting our desktop view. So in this case, I can show the grid by hitting G on my keyboard and I can reduce the height of our blocks and notice how if we change our view back to desktop our grid layout won't be affected so it's quite easy for us for example to create a line that is flush to the edges by simply making sure that we pull the line to both sides and then I can arrange our images, lines, and text independent of what's showing on our desktop view. Note that if there are extra lines that you cannot, you don't want to be visible on mobile, what we can do is actually make it smaller and hide it underneath our images or any other element. So notice how I can hide it under this element and I can manage its stacking using this option. So notice how I have the option to move forward or move backward um, because I don't want this to be on top of the image. I just would like to hide it underneath. So I use this move backward option. Um, I'll also position our um, lines right here and make sure they're flush to the edges. Again, it's it totally depends on um, how you wish the mobile to look like, but I think for this particular layout, this one will be fine. And most likely you'll find that on mobile, there are additional rows that will be added. And it's quite easy to remedy that. Like for example, there's a large white space right here. All we need to do is bring this row icon up and there we're able to optimize on mobile you can get really creative just by using this one approach notice that i was able to create another grid layout like this i was just able to add a video block wherein i um, added a bit more code to make sure that the video responds to the grid and then this is another layout that you can um, try to achieve using this technique i really hope you find this helpful You'll find the codes via the description box below. And if you are interested to learn more about coding the right way in Squarespace, please check out my program, Standout Squarespace, wherein I share my proprietary approach in coding Squarespace in a smart way such that we still make sure that the site is easily editable by website owners and we are going to recreate these projects and you'll learn a lot of techniques and foundational concepts in the process.